Hey, how's it going, guys? It's your boy, Blurry Dave, back with another Blu-ray unboxing. I got two of them today, so these would be separate. I have been waiting for these for months since I saw these in the theater, so I'll definitely show you uh, the first one we'll review today. Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, Part 1. Yep, to me, it'll always be Part 1 because that's how they announced it a couple years back. And yes, this is the Target exclusive. I was really debating on which copy should I get. Like, uh, apparently Walmart has a steelbook copy too, like not just Best Buy. But like, you know what? We'll give this a chance, see how this looks. Um, as usual, when you have a Target exclusive of a movie, you have an exclusive subcover. And in this case, we have um, six collectible character cards. Um, yeah, this kind of, I guess, came out of the blue. Because I, I, I was... I was keeping up and checking up with the release date of this, right? But did this release the same time as The Flash? Because I know that re released this week, too. Um, and, of course, I had to keep the sticker just to show you guys. So, yeah, over 90 minutes of extras, Easter eggs, deleted scene, and more. What? There's only one deleted scene? <sighs> okay. And normally they would put, like, the, the Target logo on top. Like, well, at least you know. And I, I like how this is heavy, too. So there's the spine, there's the back. I actually forgot this movie was over two hours long. Where is the show? Uh, anyways, um, yeah, this one should have been PG-13. Even though it's animated, I feel like they could have... At least they pushed the boundaries and the stakes with this one, you know, more than the first one. So why don't we get started with our Blu-ray copy first. So here you get the regular cover, and honestly... This is a better cover than this. And I actually have the poster for this, too. Um, this one is not really working out for me, you know. If you happen to get the regular Blu-ray, here's the back. And yes, I did use the digital codes, if you will, for these two movies. Just, like, again, this being one of them, so don't ask. Okay, so... So here we have our Blu-ray. Gosh, the soundtrack. The soundtrack, guys. Like, there's so many good songs. And there's the DVD. Oh, there's my camera right there. <laughs> and I thought I would keep this just in case if I ever wanted to download the uh, the soundtrack. And uh, of course, shameless plug from Sony here, <laughs> Spider-Man 2 coming next month. I still gotta play the first game, guys. <laughs> it's been out for like, what, five years and I still haven't played it? <sighs> what is wrong with me? <laughs> right. Um. Okay, so to on, on to the character cards. I'm so used to calling them like fan art cards because like the last two Spider-Verse products I got like f were from No Way Home and Morbius and those were like fan art cards. Um... So here we got Miles, and of course they have like little bios of the characters here. I thought his character was extremely funny in this one. Alright, so here's Spider-Gwen or Spider-Woman. Good job, bud. Feel free to pause the video to read the bios, guys. Oh man. Spider-Man 2099. Like, Oscar Isaac, like, he definitely made a comeback with this character. I would love to see him in, in live action. Oh my gosh. This one, I'm definitely not keeping. Nope. They made her political in this one, which is unfortunate, so... Can't keep her. Can't keep the card, yeah. Spider-Man India, he, he was, uh, he was pretty funny. Because, you know, TT. <laughs> oh my gosh. And then finally, Spider Punk. I'm not invested in his character either, but I'm hoping in the, the sequel, like the third and final film, he'll be able to uh, redeem himself. At least he was right on a lot of things in this movie. Gotta give credit to where it's due. 
And uh, this costs $30 at Target if you're looking to get this. Alright guys, so this was my unboxing of Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse Part 1 on Blu-ray, the Target exclusive. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Please in the post notification button, share my content if you haven't And uh, stay tuned for the next video. I am very excited to review that one too. Um, so tell me in the comments what do you think of this movie and what do you think of the first one. And are you guys excited for Beyond the Spider-Verse, a.k.a. Across the Spider-Verse Part 2? <laughs> All right, uh, again, uh, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for having me. Lord be with you guys. Always love you guys. Peace out, guys.